And now we go to our state capitol newsroom. The new head of Tennessee's Democratic Party hoping to leverage his historic election as the party's first black chairman with renewed hope for Democrats in the South. State Capitol News and reporter Gerald Harris explains why the chairman believes what happened in Georgia could happen here. In his historic role as chairman. I hope people are able to look back on this moment and see it as a moment where the Tennessee Democratic Party began to turn the tide. Hendrell Remus, the first African-American and millennial to lead the Democrats, says they are in a rebuilding phase. And relaunching of our partnership and coalitions with allied organizations and then just re-engaging the voters who have been uh, loyal to our party and then those who are looking for a new uh, political home. The party is looking at the presidential and Senate runoff elections in Georgia, hoping to use the blueprint there, here in the volunteer state. To buckle up because you know, it, it could take you know, four, six, eight, maybe even 10 years. Lipscomb University politics professor Linda Schatz says a strong Republican and Democratic Party is good for democracy and Dems are beginning to build. And it takes more than just a strong Democratic Party and Democratic Party chair. It takes strong Democrats in the legislature and also homegrown groups that help register voters and identify key messages that can bring more people into the Democratic Party. Freeman says a powerful national party backing and new donors entering the party will be key in chipping away at the Republican supermajority in the state. The new chair, Jamie Harrison, is from the South. Uh, he understands that you know, the tide is turning in the South, and I believe that uh, we'll see more investment. So what has been the problem with the party? The chairman says redistricting and political vitriol 10 years ago. So I don't think there, there's anything wrong with the Democratic Party. I think we just got to do a better job at making sure that our messaging is landing uh, the right way with voters. The chairman is vowing to be competitive in the 2022 governor's race. As for the legislature, he says it's going to be a little while before they're competitive there. Reporting in Nashville, Gerald Harris, News 2. And former Governor Phil Bredesen was the last statewide elected Democrat. He was first elected in 2002, re-elected then in 2006. He lost to Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn in the 2018 race for the United States Senate.